So for the week three homework for the agility program, what I'm just going to talk about putting the different obstacles together. So first we practice the jump, pause box, and the weave pulls separately. So I want your dog to understand, as much as possible, you want your dog to understand what the obstacle is so that you can point to it and give a single command and they know what to do. It makes it faster. You also want to position yourself so that you don't have to go as far as your dog and that will also make it faster and smoother. So I'm just going to do this. So there's one thing when you're starting. The pause box is my first obstacle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go halfway in between so that I don't have as much distance to go. But I still have a little bit of movement because that means I'm moving and that will help encourage her to move faster. Go! Box! Now when you're actually doing a run, I wouldn't reward each individual thing. So we'll do another one after this, but this is just to get things started. So we're still schooling. Now while she's waiting in the pause box, I'm going to take the opportunity to move to the next obstacle. So that when time's up, I'm ready already. Here. Go. Weave. Weave. Good girl. Come on. Over. Yeah. So when I went to do the the weave pose, I made sure I had less distance to travel. So I'm on the short, I'm on the smaller circle. She's going around. Over, Lily, over. Yes, and same thing with that one. That way I don't have to be right there. She knows if I point to the gym and tell her over, that's where she goes. So I'm going to do it, put the whole thing together. Lily. Go. No. No. Box. Go here. Weave. Weave. Ah. And we are going to start over again because that happens so. Like the whole video? No. Okay. We're going to start the run over again. Lily, here. So when things fall apart like that, when I'm just schooling, I'm going to go back. And I'm going to go a little bit slower because she doesn't know it well enough. She's starting to get confused at the speed between the obstacles. So then I'm going to go back and I'm going to slow it down. But I want her to understand the pattern. Lily, wait. Go! Oh. Oh, here! 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 Over! So that still has kinks in it. She's still not too sure about the weave pull, so I would go back and I'd do more work practice with just that. But that's kind of an example of some of the things that you want to think about when you're going between obstacles. And that is my introduction on putting obstacles together.